top of the morning to you. Emily here from Flying Sparks Garage and today I'm going to be tinkering on the little Corvette. We bought this car about six months ago and it's got 100,000 miles on a little over 100,000 and man this thing was road hard. We've done a lot of work to it already but we haven't touched the engine and it's summertime now in Texas and we started running the AC and the idle has been pretty bad so it's the perfect time to give her a little bit of cleanup, so that's what we're gonna do. Glad you're here, let's get going. This is what we're gonna be utilizing today from CRC. It's a pretty cool kit, I've never used it, so I'm excited to dig into it and we will learn together. So it says complete performance rejuvenation pack. That's what we need. We need our performance rejuvenated. <laughs> it says carbon eliminator at six critical points. Our MAF sensor, throttle body, intake valves, injectors, spark plugs, and combustion chamber. So here's a visual. This was a valve that we had laying around the shop and it's got tons of carbon buildup on it. So with all this carbon on here, this decreases horsepower and it also decreases efficiency. So this is what we're cleaning off and it's really nice to be able to do that with a bunch of stuff in a can instead of having to disassemble the engine to clean it. So starting off with step one is the GDI IVD intake valve and turbo cleaner. We lack a turbo, but I'm happy with cleaning our valves. So uh, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can spray it right into the throttle body or a vacuum port. That's what we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna pull the plastic valve cover up and there is a hose I'm gonna pull off Aaron will run the car and hold it at around 2000 RPM, not exceeding 3500. And also the details said to make sure that the car is up to operating temperature. And we drove it here about 15 miles. So it's nice and warm. And I think we can get started on this step one. So let's get to it. So we go in one second intervals while he's holding it at 2000 RPM until the can is gone. Okay, y'all, let's get our fuel system clean up in the gas tank. <laughs> Aaron says we have about half a tank of fuel in this car, so we will be going to the gas station to get some fuel. So we get the longest life out of this product through the fuel injectors. Yeah, these nails do come in handy for something. Jumping right into the next product is our mass airflow sensor cleaner. So I'm going to pull this off, disconnect this hose, pull our mass airflow off, and take it over to the toolbox. got our map sensor on the table, our safety equipment in place, and I'm gonna spray this being extra cautious not to touch my little straw to these little wires because those are very sensitive. So let's get to cleaning. Now that our math is all spiffy, I'm gonna put her to the side and go pull the throttle body off so we can get it nice and clean. Okay, time to pull this throttle body off. Oh, radiator still warm, yep. <clears throat> Come on. Thanks, babe. Alrighty. 
So I'm looking at my throttle body here and there is a lot of carbon buildup and it, you can see how the butterflies like drag through the bottom of the carbon. And that is definitely going to affect my idle. The butterfly has a certain amount of clearance that the engineers designed and when that carbon builds up, of course it's going to affect your idle because not enough air can get through. Makes sense to me. Okay, let's clean her up. That's so fun. <laughs> so I rotated my butterflies around and I see carbon buildup on my butterfly there. Not as bad on this side, but over here, I'm going to be sure and get all of that off. Let me just wipe it with my rag. Okay, we got her all wiped down. I was really sure to get all corners with my rag and the edge of the butterfly. And it looks really, really nice. I love this. And it's time to throw it back on. Making sure our O-ing's in place inside the intake. And it looks good. Plug her back in. Sure to get my flow headed the right direction. Got it. <laughs> this cold air intake has got to be addressed on this car. It is so janky it to the list. Okay. All right, y'all. Looks pretty dang good. I bet it runs even better. I can't believe it, y'all. We're finished. All we have to do now is go fill the gas tank up with fresh fuel so that we get the most out of that treatment that we put in there. And then we go drive it for 10 minutes and we're done. That is just awesome. This was very easy and we already have detected that the car is running better just from the valve cleaner stuff that we put through the vacuum port. So I'm sure the throttle body is going to be happier and the math sensor is going to be happier. So that makes me happier because it means more horsepower and more efficiency, right? So heck yeah. I'll see you at the gas station and then we'll hit the road. Well, we just completed our 10 minute cruise, complete with some tasteful hard launches. That rev limiter. <laughs> I do feel like the car is running better. It was definitely like having a problem at idle, especially when we turned the AC on and we tried that out and it worked great. I'm happy. I know that it did good stuff within the engine and I can tell the difference and I'm happy I did this. Be sure and leave comments down in the comment section what you guys thought about the video. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like. We're going to be doing a whole bunch more of these, so we look forward to seeing y'all on the next episode.